Hello and welcome to the first episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the SC-2010, a Peruvian assault rifle derived from the classic FNFAL. The SC-2010 is a low damage weapon, at least compared to its peers in the assault rifle class. Nevertheless, most weapons within the category share similar damage profiles. You'll need no more than three bullets to kill in close quarters, or two headshots courtesy of the higher than average headshot multiplier. At a distance, damage drops steadily to a five shot kill, or four headshots. Rate of fire is moderate at 759 rounds per minute. This is average for the assault rifles, so you might find the output of enemy SMGs overwhelming. Hipfire performance is adequate at the assault rifle standard. A serviceable close range defense, but not the most consistent way of using this weapon. Recoil is low, with automatic fire remaining accurate out to quite some range, particularly with the grip attached. Aim time is standard for the assault rifle class at 300 milliseconds, and you'll move at 90% of the base speed. Magazine capacity is at the standard 30 rounds, with extended mags granting you 45 rounds instead. The reload time is, again, thoroughly average, taking 2.8 seconds to complete. You'll find the SC-2010 is effective across a broad variety of ranges. The lower recoil means you can reach out across long sightlines with automatic fire, and you can enhance this ability with your loadout. The foregrip is an effective attachment in Ghosts, reducing recoil by a significant amount that will do much to enhance hit probability on a distant target. With it, the SC-2010 becomes even more effective at a distance, a veritable laser beam that can be fired automatically while remaining very controllable. To take advantage of this accuracy, it can be worthwhile equipping an optic as well, with either the red dot sight or holographic proving the most easy to use. Such sights will grant you a better view on target, allowing you to direct your fire onto distant enemies more effectively than the more obtrusive iron sights. For your perks, the SC is versatile enough to support a diverse set, although perhaps the most important are those which directly affect your accuracy. Focus both reduces flinch and idle sway, meaning you'll be better able to hit long-range targets, and less likely to be knocked off your mark under incoming fire. Quick Draw is another powerful choice that will assist your reactivity in closer quarters by improving your aim time, and thus your ability to snap onto targets more quickly. With the brutally short time to kill of weapons and ghosts, enhancing your reaction time can be a very worthy investment. Beyond this, you can spend your remaining points as you please. Your grenades and secondary are only a useful spend if you're in the habit of using them. Otherwise, consider your playstyle's needs. More aggressive use may benefit from mobility enhancing options, whereas the more cautious will find rewards in resistivity and stealth. The SC-2010 is a versatile and easy to handle assault rifle, capable of proving competitive across a wide variety of engagements. Its low recoil means it can be fired fully automatically out of quite some range. And when paired with a grip, its ability to land successive shots is unrivaled. Paired with a healthy rate of fire, you won't be left too vulnerable at a close range either, with hipfire a viable defense against many opponents. Unfortunately, as you might expect from such a versatile weapon, this lack of specialization can mean sometimes you'll be left outclassed. SMGs and shotguns will have a clear advantage at a short range, and sniper rifles will easily take you out in one shot at a distance. The lower damage means that despite your ability to land successive shots on target, other weapons may kill more rapidly, which could leave you at a disadvantage. Still, adaptability is very useful, Overall, a strong trait to have. The times when your lack of specialization might let you down may be outweighed by otherwise consistent performance. If you've a mountain to climb, this Peruvian rifle's rock-solid performance might come in Andes. Thank you very much for watching and join me next time when I'll be covering the Bison. Until then, Farewell.